Hi, this is Van with Gather and Create, and I'm back in video three to show you how to add your first row of stitches, which is referred to as casting on. So we're going to be casting on our first row of stitches onto the chain that we've created. Now, I created a chain with, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 stitches, just because I wanted to keep it within the view of the camera. So I've got my chain here, and the first thing I'm going to do is, here's my 12th stitch. I'm going to be doing 12 stitch rows, and it does not hurt to count your stitches at least every other row. Make sure you still have the number of stitches that you started with in your chain. That way, if you miss a stitch, you don't have to go back 10 rows and pull everything out to find out where you missed the stitch. If you're counting at least every other row, then you won't have too far to pull out. So here's my 12th stitch in my chain. I'm going to put a uh, stitch in that stitch to start out with my new row of stitches or our first row of stitches where we're casting on so I just simply put a stitch in that stitch now I did three uh, I did two inch stitches in my chain three fingers and now I'm going to do a little bit smaller from here on out so probably like two two and a half fingers so you can see that's a little bit smaller and I just take this stitch and just make sure that it's kind of pointed upwards there and I'm gonna be pulling a stitch out of every bump here so I'm gonna reach down through see these top holes and we're gonna be pulling stitches out so I'm gonna reach down through with my finger and my thumb grab the working yarn and pull it up through to pull out a stitch just like that okay here's my next hole there I'm gonna reach down grab the working yarn pull it up through and pull out a stitch now one thing you want to remember when you are pulling stitches out whether it's in the chain or the rest of your blanket, is you always want to make sure you're pulling stitches from the working yarn end. You never want to pull from the previous stitch because you'll be tightening up the previous stitch and you won't have the size of stitches that you intended. Again, I'm going to reach down through that top hole, pull out a stitch from the working yarn end. Just make sure that your stitches are relatively the same size as best as you can do. We're going to be pulling a stitch out of every one of these top holes in our chain and by the time we pull a stitch out of each one we will have 12 stitches because that's how many stitches we started with in our chain so I'm just continuing on I'm just kind of watching the size of my stitches there reaching down through that top hole grabbing that working yarn and pulling a stitch up through that top hole. This is casting on our first row of stitches, okay? Again, there's my top hole. I'm gonna reach down through with my finger and my thumb and then pull that stitch out. And by the way, it is a lot easier to knit your blanket on a smooth surface, not a fuzzy surface like this. And here's my last one. I'm gonna reach down through that top hole, grab the working yarn, and pull that stitch out, just like that. Okay, and then I can kind of look at my stitches and just make sure that I stayed with that size stitch, about a two, two and a half finger stitch, just a little bit smaller than what we did in the chain. So here is our first row of stitches and we cast on that first row of stitches by putting, uh, by pulling out a stitch in every top hole of our chain. Now we can count our stitches to make sure that we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's what we should have because that's what we started with in our chain.